The Decora Vikings are getting ready for the quarterfinal round football playoffs against North Scott this weekend. Mike Tungan, head coach of the Vikings, joining us. And Mike, uh, nail biter to say the least uh, in round number one against Newton. What ultimately got the job done for you guys? Well, first you got to give credit. I mean, Newton played a really good football game. They had a really good game plan and, um, Man, you know that they they really played hard till the end. I mean, I'm sure they're still hurting them for that game. But you know, I one thing that I used a um, kind of uh, something from uh, Mrs. Nimrod. I talked to her a little bit uh, before the game, and she was just talking about some of the words that she talks about with her kids. And trust was a big thing, um, you know, that she uses with her runners. And we used that uh, before the game in the pregame. And it was just kind of throughout the whole game, just continuing to trust each other. And those words were constantly being talked about. And, you know, you got to trust, trust the process, trust, trust each other. And, you know, ultimately they just kept fighting and believing and trusting. And, and uh, somehow we found a way to get it done, to get it done. Without getting too much into the weeds on the game scoring play uh, to uh, win it. Uh, what gave you the confidence that your guys were going to uh, execute that uh, in a way that you would win the game ultimately for you? Yeah, well, you know, um, I kind of made the decision when we got the fumble that I, we were going to go for two no matter what. Um, and then just the way that the drive went, um, I felt like we were um, that getting three yards on a play was, I felt like we'd have a little bit better chance of uh, running that play. And that's uh, a play that we work on every Wednesday. And it's a play that I worked on when I was in high school on Wednesdays um, or Thursdays, excuse me. And um, so one thing I knew I had a timeout and that was key. Um, so if we shifted over and, and I didn't like the look, we were going to call timeout and make a decision from there. Um, so, you know, the other thing too, is as soon as we scored, I turned to uh, Krieg and told him what we were going to run and he didn't even blink an eye. So I could just tell right there that, you know, cool, calm and collected. And, uh, yeah, I just, I was super confident in, in the way that our kids would execute for sure. And ultimately in the big picture, you look at the defensive effort. I know uh, one of their uh, touchdowns came on a uh, special teams touchdown, but, Three takeaways, a uh, big goal line stand inside the uh, 10 yard line. What more can you say about your defensive performance last Friday? Well, I mean, obviously, that's the big thing, right? Like, you know, everybody looks at that last play and, you know, it's been kind of the talk of the town, which, which is, which is great. But man, the goal line stand that we had there, the turnovers, the takeaways, um, just the, the battle, you know, Newton was um, driving quite often throughout the game and we were having a hard time getting field position, but we just kept getting stops. And, uh, you know, you just you just hang around long enough and some good things happen when our way. And um, but, yeah, just defensively, just how how much we battled and, and um, we just kept fighting. And that's I mean, what more can you ask for? And this week, uh, North Scott uh, comes to town. Uh, what have you been able to figure out about this year's edition of the Lancers? You know, it's same thing that we've seen um, every time we've played them. This will be the third time we played them um, in a few years. And they're just so balanced. Um, they're good on offense. They're good defensively. Um, they've got great talent. Uh, they always seem to have a quarterback that can throw the ball and run the ball. And um, they're just a they're just a good team, and they're good every year. And, and so, you know, it's just another one of those um, opportunities for us to go up against a really good team and and uh, try to make it a, a four quarter game and see if we can battle to the end and you know and see if we can come out with a win. In what ways are they, are they similar to uh, the two years you've played them previously? In what ways is this group unique to North Scott football? You know, I think I think they're similar in a sense of they're they're very explosive offensively um, and they can throw the ball around. Um, I've been really impressed with the quarterback as far as. You know, he, he can literally make the wow throws like, you know, rolling to his, his left and slinging it 30 yards on a dime. And and so he's been he's been really impressive to me. Um, what's different about him? I don't know. I think they're pretty similar in, in just the way that they just play really sound football um, on both sides of the ball. I really am impressed with how well they're coached defensively, especially in their secondary. They're, they do a really good job. Um, and so we'll just have to be, you know, balanced and hopefully we can we can run the ball and establish and establish that type of a game and, and then throw it when we want to, not when we have to, and try to dictate some tempo that way. But, you know, it's going to be a challenge, but I mean, what more can you ask for? You know, you get to play a home game again and, and uh, we're excited about it. Again, first time you played North Scott without a three and a half hour plus a bus ride. Right. That has to be cool, right? Yeah. I'm excited about playing, um, you know, in front of the crowd again and like, Holy moly, that last week, the, the, the crowd was just electric and, 
you know, um, it, it was super fun just to see, you know, the environment that was created by our home fans. And, and, uh, you know, I know that, you know, that, that game is going to be a moment that, you know, they'll never forget. And, and we're going to need them again. <laughs> we're going to need them again on Friday. You know, we need them, we need them there and we need them loud. We need them, you know, cause we feed off of that kind of stuff. And, you know, so it's fun for the community. I mean, there's a buzz uh, in Decorah right now, and and that's what you want to be a part of. And we just got to keep our focus on this game and not let the high of last week carry over. We just got to keep uh, trying to get better and and uh, take it one play at a time and, and you know, just keep moving. All right, uh, Coach. It was an exciting one last Friday. Going to be another exciting one this Friday. Uh, keep your kids healthy. Best of luck to you. And hopefully we can preview a semifinal game next week. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thanks, Darren. Mike Tungan, head coach of the Decorah Vikings, Decorah and North Scott this Friday night.